I want to review your Django code. That is, I want to look at your live Django code and make some comments of it, write a review, and also suggest things that you can do to make your code better. Now, this is going to benefit everyone, right? It's going to benefit me because it'll help me get better at showing you guys how to do things better. It'll benefit some of you depending on if you submit or not. And then finally, it'll benefit people from watching. Like, so if you watch this on little small scale, you'll actually start to get a lot from it because you'll see how other people's code works. And the requirements for this are three things. Number one, you have your project on GitHub. It's on github.com and it's a public project, or even if it's a public Python file. So it doesn't have to be the entire project, but it does have to be a public Python file. And we're only covering Python at this time. We might move into other areas in the future, but it's really only Python and as it relates to Django. That's all we're doing right now. And in this one, we're actually gonna do an example of that. So the next thing is, as far as being able to submit yours for review, you have to be a subscriber on jointcfe.com slash YouTube, so on our YouTube channel. And then you're gonna go on that YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell. But then you're also gonna look for the video or the series, the playlist that is specific for actual Django code review, which we'll have it on one of our created playlists. It should be very easy to find. So since this is our first one, we have none of them done yet. And we're gonna actually be doing our own code to just give you an example of this. Hopefully in the future, there's gonna be a lot less explaining. We'll just jump into it. Um, but the main point here is to see how it is that we're going to be doing this so we can improve other people's code doing it together. And if you look back at some of our older projects, yeah, there's a lot of things that absolutely can be improved. And the reason that there can be improvements made to old projects is because Django gets deep. There's just a lot of things that we could constantly be doing to improve everything. So in this one, we're going to just be doing a very minor improvement Let's go ahead and get started now. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this file. So granted, I'm logged in as my Coding for Entrepreneurs user, but you can do this as well, and you basically hit a submit to commit something new. And this right here is not the most effective way to do this. Instead, what I wanna do is have a custom query set. So I'm gonna add a new query set in here. Let's call it post query set, and it's models.query that query set. And what I'm gonna do is define something that handles this right here. And I'm gonna just call it published. And it's gonna take in self. And all it's gonna return is self.filter. Actually, all it's gonna return is this right here. So we'll just add that in. And now we have our custom query set with this new method called published. So down here, we have to add in get query set. and actually hook in this custom query set method that we have. And I'll just do self args and keyword args. And we're gonna return the post query set. And you know, when you're typing on GitHub itself, make sure you're following along with it because um, unlike Sublime Text, right? So we have some, some code editing in there. Unlike Sublime Text, this isn't always gonna work. So we'll do self.model and then using, and, and this is going to be self underscore db. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're just gonna come in here and return self dot get query set dot published. And that's it. So we just updated how active works so we no longer have that long thing. And the nice thing about this too is we already have some examples up here. I can actually do dot published anywhere and that will give me back a query set of things that are published that are no longer a draft and no longer uh, in the, like they're actually in the past. So the publish time was in the past. That's what that is itself. Now we can improve this e even further and we'll say define not draft and we'll take in self and we'll return self.filter draft equals to false. And again, we can use this, and instead of that, we'll just use the publish date of that, and then we we'll do not draft, right? So this is taking in that filter as well. It's gonna take in this on its own because it's using this self call, and this will still work all the time. 
Now, that's a very simple code review, and that's all we're going to be doing. It's just little bits like this to help your code improve. And hopefully you guys have seen this. If you haven't seen this before, this is something that's really interesting to check out. We covered a lot more on Django Models Unleashed, and every once in a while we might recommend that. So we're actually still going to come back to this. In the next one, we'll review this again to give you just another example. So this was Django code review number one. Number two, we're going to review this code all over again. Let us know if you have questions and please consider adding in your comments. I will say that when we add commit changes, we will actually write our own description. I'm just not going to do it in the video. See you soon.